My name is David Reese. I have an artisanal pencil sharpening business. I've written a book about pencil sharpening called How to Sharpen Pencils. I am wearing uh, the black apron of the artisan, which allows me to establish my dominance and authority over people who don't know as much as I do. I'm also wearing illuminated magnifying spectacles, which offer me a close and in-depth look at any pencil point during its finishing stages in my practice. I get a lot of satisfaction putting a fresh point on an old beloved pencil. It's kind of like the velveteen rabbit theory of pencil sharpening. There are certain pencils like the Eberhard Faber Blackwing which have assumed a legendary status and are considered by some people to be the best pencils ever made. I would pass the pencils through my body and then sharpen them in the traditional manner of pencil fetishists. No. You're talking about when Heath Ledger slammed that guy's head down onto a pencil and like went through his brain. Uh, yeah, I think so, probably. I have not. No, I wouldn't. I think I would find it profoundly disturbing. I've never lived in Bacon. I've traveled with Bacon down many paths, but I live in Beacon. I will say that I am profoundly annoyed by the proliferation of pro-Bacon snarky t-shirts on certain websites and this meme of everything goes better with Bacon or Little Piggy Loves Bacon. It's not good for you. And the, uh, and the pork industry is, is one of the most befouled and corrupt and destructive Im industries imaginable. I mean, it's not a miracle substance. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've all tasted it. It all basically tastes the same. Extra sharp Wisconsin cheddar from my father's home state. Could have shrapnel embedded in it. What sport are we playing? What's going, what, what is this? What are we doing? Okay. Fuck you, you piece of shit. My team is going to win this incredibly important basketball game by one point. Can I have your autograph? You know what tree I would punch, actually? I have an Asian pear tree in my backyard out, out behind my kitchen. And I'm really frustrated because I lo really like Asian pears, but the tree is always bare of fruit because I think in, at nighttime, deer come by and ram the tree and I think that dislodges the fruit and they, and they eat it all. And so what I would like to do is punch the tree, but not out of anger, but, but using the same foresight and the same technique that these goddamn deer are using to get some of these Asian pears. If anything, I would punch the deer eliminate their competition and then punch the tree and get all those tasty Asian pears. Okay. Thanks. Fuck bacon and fuck your semi-ironic appreciation of bacon.